Hi guys, this is Terry Wood from PokerRubber.com. Today we want to talk about overcard probabilities, specifically as it relates to pocket pair. So we've got a pre-staged hand here and you can see I've got pocket sevens. So what are the odds that one of these other players has a pair larger than mine pre-flop? And how do we get there? Well, I can tell you the odds are 31%, but how did I get there? So we've got nine players dealt in. How many pair larger than mine? There's eights, nine, tens, jacks, queens, kings, and aces. So seven pair. Seven times nine is 63 divided by two would be 31%. If we had pocket tens, what would it be? Well, it's jacks, queens, kings, aces. It would have beat the pocket tens, four pair. Four times nine is 36. It'd be an 18% chance of an overcard. If there were only five players in the hand, then we would say the same seven pocket pair that beat this, seven times five is 35, divided by two, would be a 17% chance of an over pair to my pocket seven. So on pokerrubber.com, we have a number of charts that will depict those uh, probabilities of a over pair to your pair based to the number of players anywhere between heads up and a full game of nine. So now that we know where we stand, so what about the flop, which of course changes everything? What's the probability of an overcard to your sevens coming on the flop? Well, there's about a 90% probability that an overcard would come. So if you go over to the sevens here, and we go up, this is the flop chart, and 90% chance of an overcard on the flop. So you'll flop a set about 12% of the time, or 7.33 to one to do so. If you do flop a set, then you've got a 33% chance or about two to one odds of making a boat. If you don't flop a set, then those pocket sevens are probably in trouble. Uh, so <clears throat> if, if an overcar, if no overcar for, for some miracle doesn't come on the flop, then what are, what are our opportunities on the turn in the river? So to the sevens, there's 60% chance of an overcard coming on the turn and on the river we're the same 60% chance. Those pocket tens, so on the flop we're a 75% chance that an overcard will come and on the turn we're a 30% chance and once again on the turn we're a 30, I mean on the river we're a 30% chance as well. So if you look at all five cards on the board that means with our pocket sevens we're a hundred percent chance of an overcard coming, and with our pocket tens, we're an eighty-five percent chance of an overcard coming. So, I hope this is you know this is a brief demonstration to show the importance of, of math in poker. That's why we here at Poker Rubber call it the underlying form of poker. It's math. Uh, without a good understanding of math, can you be a winner? Sure, possible. But you absolutely, in the long term, lose to those players that do have a sound understanding of the game. All right. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, visit our website, PokerRubber.com. We have over 30 articles there at the present time. Most of those articles will deal with math or in, and basic poker strategy. Keep in mind that math is the underlying form of poker. You cannot be a long-term long winner in poker without understanding the probabilities and the math of the game. You may be a short-term winner, but in the long run, those players that understand poker math are to come out far ahead of those that do not. Thanks for joining us. Uh, look for you next time. We'll have some more videos coming out soon that will be posted on YouTube and on our website. So check our website often for updates, sign up for the newsletter, and see you on the next video.